Hi, George here again, and in this video series we're going to be doing something that my student workers have been dying for me to do for weeks now, uh, and that is creating a 3D model of a Chaos Orb from the game Path of Exile, and more importantly, taking that 3D model and making it such that we could 3D print our own Chaos Orbs for our own use. And then of course, uh, you know, giving one to my, under, my uh, undergraduate students and student workers. I don't play Path of Exile that much, but they did kind of get me hooked a little bit when I was doing some testing with my three 4K monitors. I played Path of Exile a lot on all three screens at uh, you know 4K on each screen, and I, I played it for about two or three weeks, um, getting a sense of it. And actually, I started playing it right around the time this latest expansion came out. So I'm not a pro. I'm not going to put up a whole lot of material, but. Um, they and everyone else out there seems to be crazy about these chaos orbs, so I thought, heck, I could probably make this thing. And actually, during one of, uh, I think it was like over the course of an hour while we're working on a different project, I kind of threw together a rough approximation of a chaos orb real quick. They seemed to like it, and so why not do the actual full thing? So the problem, though, is that the reference material for the chaos orb is pretty abysmal. All the imagery that I'm able to find online, which you can see up here, yeah, low resolution images. Uh, it looks like a, just a figurine, a face with some, you know, sort of swiggly hair, you know, out of some, you know, Greek or Roman. Uh, I'm not a historian here, so don't kill me for saying the wrong thing. But it just looks like an old, um, you, know, you know, take on uh, on the human form. And more importantly, it looks like it's made out of bronze or, or something like that. Uh, in which case. When we get done with this, I'm going to order some bronze filament and 3D print it in that as well using my, uh, my PrinterBot printer. So I hope you enjoy this series and you get something out of it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just release the final 3D model I make uh, on either Thingiverse or maybe I'll just put a link in it down here at some point. I'm not sure yet because I'm literally recording this video at the very start of the project. But I kind of wanted to light a, you know, a fire under me to get this one done because there's so many other videos that I'm working on in so many different series that unless I commit myself to actually doing it by recording this video, there's a good chance I'll just never get around to it. So anyway, here we go. Let's start. <laughs> 